Hi, Dawn with Feng Shui by Dawn. How are you today? I am your Feng Shui master and educator here to teach you how to balance your environment for optimal health, wealth, and success. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about what is Feng Shui? <laughs> what is this thing that I keep talking to you about and why does it even matter? Well, the literal translation, definition of the words Feng and Shui is wind and water. So Feng is wind, Shui is, wa shui is water. Um, so that's the literal translation, okay? It is an application of art and science, okay? The Chinese figured out over 3,000 years ago about the science of the land and when structures go on the land and what, what does that do to the people inside the structures. So it's a very fascinating science, okay? And there are lots of schools of feng shui. So I'm gonna just try to teach you what I can, okay? So our environment, where you live, is on a piece of earth, right? Right, so where your house is, your apartment is, your office building is, it's on a piece of earth, right? And, and it has a shape, right? The shape of your structure, that your structure has a shape, okay? So the, the Chinese figured out that depending on how that structure sits on the land, and what I mean by sits is like the compass reading directions of that structure, they figured out that when, when a structure goes on the land and the roof goes on the structure, there is molecular energy within that structure, okay? And what feng shui does more specifically, Lo Shu Flying Stars Feng Shui, it, there are formulas and what you do is you take your compass, you read the property, meaning you compass read the property, and then based on that, that starts your formula. Depending on how the structure sits, there is a formula to that and what's also really important is the year that the structure was built, when the roof went on the structure. So this is feng shui. Feng, this is one school of feng shui. It's called Lo Shu Flying Stars. So they, the Chinese figured out that when, um, when the year was built, how it sits on the land, the, the condo, the townhome, the apartment, the office, how it sits on the land, it has energy in it. Right, so before that that structure was there, it was a open piece of land, right? It could have been a farm, it could have just been dirt, it, who knows what it could have been, right? So they, the Chinese figured out that there is energy and, and there and no place has perfect energy. Every place has high energy and not so high energy. So feng shui, when you hire a master, if they practice low shoe flying stars, um, they will help you learn about the energy and then enhance the good energy and reduce the effects of the not so good energy. And what is the purpose of feng shui? Why even feng shui? Okay, when people feng shui, it's because we, they, we want to live in harmony with nature. Okay, so feng shui is about bringing nature in. And I don't necessarily mean like trees and grass and things like that. I mean the peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, the peace and the calm of nature. Okay, so we, we want to bring that into our space so that we live in harmony okay, uh, with the elements of nature. And so feng shui elements are fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. And so we want to incorporate those elements, make sure they are in balance and in harmony to nurture 
the occupants within that space, okay? So I think you would agree with me that everything is comprised of energy, right? We are energy, um, furniture is energy, uh, wind is energy, right? Wind is energy, water is energy. Think about like, like hurricanes, like we just had a hur hurricane in Florida. Look at the power of that water, right? And look what it did to mother nature, okay? So that was wind and water. That's like feng shui, um, the literal term of feng shui in action, right? Wind and water, and what did it do? Okay, so everything is energy, right? Everything, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It's just manipulated, okay? This is called chi in feng shui. So the way that energy flows in and through and around our environment directly affects our life and our career, okay? Let me repeat that. The way that energy flows in, through, and around our, our environment, it directly affects our energy and our careers, okay? Feng Shui is all about energy. It's wind and water. It's about mother nature. It's about peace and tranquility and energy, okay? And there's lots of schools of Feng Shui, okay? So um, I practice eight schools with my customers when they commission me to Feng Shui for them. Um, Lo Shu Flying Stars, Form School Feng Shui, Western Bagua Feng Shui, East West Feng Shui, Lo Shu Flying Stars. Okay, so there's many types of Feng Shui. These are just a few that I practice to help my customers create peace and harmony in their space so that they sleep better, work is easier. Some people wanna have a baby, I help people with that. Some people, um, uh, their children aren't sleeping or they're not doing well in school. We address that if that's the situation. Um, some people have uh, relationship issues with people. We address that. So everybody comes to me with different wishes and desires for feng shui. So I hope that um, me describing a little bit about feng shui helps you understand. It's really about taking energy within our spaces and optimizing that energy for the occupants, okay? It's, um, it's fascinating, it's, um, it's magical to me. That's why I got into it because it really um, changed our life. It really, our life was good, but it made our life so much better. Now listen, it doesn't make life perfect, okay? Feng Shui doesn't make everything perfect, no but it makes life better, okay? It could be 30% better, 50% better, 75% better just by making some changes, right? So um, if you have questions about what feng shui is, I hope that you will ask me and um, I hope that you'll like and subscribe to my page. Have a great day.